today we're going to be making brandy snaps with whipped cream. The ingredients you'll need then are 50 grams of plain flour, 50 grams of butter and 50 grams of golden caster sugar, 2 tablespoons of golden syrup, 1 teaspoon of ground ginger and the zest from half a lemon. You also need the not so secret ingredient, one teaspoon of brandy. For the sweetened whipped cream, you'll need four tablespoons of caster sugar, 250 milliliters of whipping cream, and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla essence. First things first on this very simple, very straightforward recipe, we're gonna preheat our oven to 180 degrees Celsius. You wanna turn a pan onto the lowest heat possible, what we're going to do is melt our butter, our sugar and our golden syrup as slowly and as gently as possible. Okay, perfect. So when all that sugar is nice and dissolved and your butter's melted, we're going to sift in our 50 grams of flour and our ginger. And then we're going to take that off the heat and we're going to mix all this flour and ginger in until it's nice and smooth, no lumps. Okay, so I've just added our lemon zest and our brandy. Let's give that a good stir in as well. And then next, all we're going to do is take roughly a teaspoon of your mixture onto a baking tray that I've just lined with a little bit of baking parchment. Now when these go in the oven, what will happen is they'll heat up, they'll spread out, and they'll form like a lace kind of texture. Make sure you spread these out on your baking parchment, otherwise they'll expand and stick together. And then pop your brandy snap mixture into the oven for about eight to 10 minutes now, while your brandy snaps are cooking for eight to 10 minutes, pour your whipping cream, a little bit of vanilla, and your caster sugar into a bowl. Take a whisk and get to work. And then after a minute or two, you should have this fantastic sweetened whipped cream. So just set that to a side in the fridge until we need it later. So this is a good example of the texture we're looking for, just need a little bit more golden brown, then they're ready to come out. Okay, so when you take your brandy snaps out of the oven, I would recommend highly using a wooden spoon. Leave it for roughly a minute to cool down until you can handle the brandy snap. Then pick it up and very gently just curl it around your wooden spoon and then just set it to a side to cool. Continue this with all of your brandy snaps. 